had in Kisi, Busia, and Kericho, and elsewhere in Kenya, all in the name of stopping citizens exercise to exercise their constitutional right to hold peaceful demonstrations. Much as Ruto tries to depict Azimio demonstrators as violent, it is evidently clear that our demonstrations are peaceful. And it is the police who import violence and use of excessive force into them. We remind all that whenever Azimio hold larries and or demonstrations without police interference, they aid peacefully without violence or destructions. The decision by police command to force without to aid peacefully without violence or destructions. No, sorry. The decision by police command to force access to homes is sharply and unnecessarily escalating tensions and costing lives. Inspector General of Police, Mr. Jaffet Kome, and CS Interior, Professor Kithure Kidiki, must immediately withdraw police officers from people's homes and residential areas, especially now that there are no demonstrations. The developments in Nyansa take place against other equally worrying actions by the state. Both police and hard goons are trailing, arresting, and shooting people from vehicles with foreign number plates. In the three-day demonstrations that ended last Friday, that was yesterday, South Sudan and Tanzania number plates were feasibly deployed. This creates unnecessary tension and conflict between our country and these federal countries and our people against the people of Tanzania and South Sudan. As police battle our people on the streets, they have also taken over the corridors of justice in our courts. We saw police attacking families of people seeking justice in court. We saw Honorable Babu Owino being abducted and ferried away from court corridors after being released on bail. We saw the media being attacked and chased from court corridors as they did their job of informing the world of developments in the country. As mere readers are being put at the house arrest, constant surveillance and persistent threat of being arrested. We demand the unconditional release of all the Azimio readers and supporters who are still being held in communicado. These developments also happen against the backdrop of constant verbal and warranted that their tribe against Uhuru Kenyatta, the fourth president of Kenya, and Luto's boast for 10 years from 2013 to 2022 August. The withdrawal of security of his mother, Mamangena Kenyatta. The attack on his son, Jomo, by uniformed police, claiming to be police, and the attack and vandalization of the Kenyatta family, Northrad's farm. These are all acts of grave provocation, not only to Uhuru Kenyatta and his family, but also to all right-thinking Kenyans. Clearly, Ruto has for all intent and purposes suspended the constitution of Kenya and is following his whims. We shall not watch helplessly as Luto and his cronies completely dismantle the Republic of Kenya as set up by our constitution. We shall not surrender our rights, including the right to life, dignity, and the right to peaceful protest. We shall not surrender our voices or agency. We shall fight for our rights as we have fought for them before. And our fathers, and as our fathers for, fought, for fought for them before last, we call on all right thinking members of society to rise up and be heard. Let us all say enough is enough. 
William Ruto and his illegitimate regime must listen to Kenyans. All these actions by police undermine the rule of law,